You know what's awesome? Making homemade salad dressing. Mm-hmm. kitchen this is a quick episode to show you just how easy it is to make an avocado salad dressing ready for lunch today and tomorrow it is so easy and so perfect and if you have a couple avocados that are right at that a little day over ripeness this is the way to use them let's get started we've got a little blender and we're gonna put just a few ingredients in. We're going to start with our avocado, so I'm just gonna scoop everything but that little nub at the end here into my little, I have a magic bullet blender, uh, but there's lots of other types of blenders that do this exact same thing. So, Avocado number one, and we are going to use two avocados for this recipe. And if you don't know how to deal with an avocado, you just slice it in half and scoop it out to get the pit out. Whoop. Oh, I got a little on my finger. You just smack your knife in and twist and it comes out. Now, if your avocado isn't ripe and it's really hard, that's not going to work, but you should also probably wait for that avocado to get soft before you do it. It is a love-hate relationship with avocados because it's like one day they are hard as a rock, the next day they are perfect, and then you blink and all of a sudden they're too soft. <laughs> right? Okay, so what did I say? Two avocados. Up next, I am going to throw in three cloves of garlic because I love garlic but maybe stick to two if you're not like obsessed with garlic broth. And the nice thing is about doing this in a little blender like this, you don't have to mince the garlic in there, you just stick it in whole. Two avocados means two limes. Well, you can't throw the whole lime in there, you actually have to do the juice part. <laughs> not like the garlic where you throw the whole thing in. I have an abundance of limes in my kitchen this week, so this is also perfect. You're probably wondering, if you have so many limes, why aren't you making margaritas? Well, maybe I already did. <laughs> okay, avocados, limes, garlic. The next thing we need is some olive oil. Now, typically salad dressings have a lot of olive oil. If you noticed, I did not put that much in there. I'm actually gonna use a little bit of water as well because that's gonna give me just a little bit less of that fat that comes from olive oil and it's still gonna give me that kind of creamy, runny consistency that I want to pour over a salad. Oh, we need salt and pepper as well. You don't need too much salt because that lime juice is gonna give you that little bit of a zing. But that is it for ingredients. Two avocados, two limes, as much garlic as you want a splash of olive oil and a little bit of water. And then all we have to do is blend. Now, sometimes when it gets really creamy like that, I just give it a shake because I can still kind of feel and hear that my garlic is in there and really I want that garlic not to be chunky. After I've let it do its thing for a little bit, what I do to check out the consistency is just give it a little look. And right now it's more like a dip in a creamy paste. And because I don't measure anything ever, I don't know how much water I put in, but I want it to be more of a dressing. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water and a little bit more olive oil. And then we go again. Oh my gosh, as soon as I opened though, I could smell that garlic. Now I'm seeing that consistency become a little bit more of a dressing than a paste. Oh, that was just for fun. Okay, I always kinda, I don't wanna waste anything on the top, so I give it a little tappity tap. Oh, my hands are all slippery from the avocado. 
Okay. Whew. Tough work making salad dressing, right? Okay. Oh, and that's more like a dressing. Not as pasty. But I'm telling you, adding a little bit of water does not change the flavor. There is so much garlic and that creaminess from that avocado and the flavor that it brings is just delicious. This is fantastic for really almost any salad that you can think of. The other nice things about these little blenders is that typically they come with lids and you just put this right in the fridge and it's great for your lunch today, your lunch tomorrow, and maybe even supper. I wouldn't give it more than a day or two uh, in the refrigerator. Your, it'll start turning brown, even with the lime juice in there, it might go a little bit brown on you. With portions like this, just give it a use within a day or two and make it fresh every single time. It's worth it, it tastes great that way. Please try this at home if you love avocados or if you just have some sitting over there that really need to be used. This is a wonderful option, tasty, delicious, and actually really good for you. Stay tuned to more Silly Kitchen episodes where I give you some nice, fun little recipes just like this one. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this quick little recipe that you can use at home starting right now. Stick with me, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you so much and I will see you again soon. 